I'm Jay Shai Suksuri, Product Specialist, IQS. Today I'm going to talk about the three scenarios in connecting to Tools Talk 2. So there are three scenarios in connecting Tools Talk 2. First, we're going to talk about connecting Tools Talk 2 with a version older than 2.13. We have a video by Ben Hannawalt. He talks about how to connect with the service port and using automatic DHCP IP settings. The default port at that time is 4551. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about Tools Talk 2, 2.13 and above, which I'm going to show you two scenarios of connecting. One is by the service port, which we will set up automatic DHCP IP settings. The other is using factory port and setting up static IP settings on both your laptop and on your controller. Remember that in both of these two scenarios, we are using a default port of 9016. For the next scenario in connecting to Tools Talk 2, for a version from 2.13 and above, we have another two more ways. One of it is connecting to Tools Talk 2 through the service port or automatic IP address settings. So let's go take a look. So in this scenario, I have my Ethernet cable connected to my computer and in front of the service port. This is on my browser. I just punch in the default IP address, which is 169.254.11. And your controller web GUI will launch, as you can see here. Then click on settings, and you can see, as said, this is your default service Ethernet port IP address, 169.254.11. Now, on server connections, you have to input your server host, which this is your computer. So how do I know my computer IP address? I click on my taskbar, on your Wi-Fi um, icon, then click on the Ethernet. Your Ethernet settings will come up. Click again on this Ethernet icon, and you'll see your IPv4 address. Another way is to launch your CMD, which you could launch it by going to your taskbar, type in CMD, and you can type ipconfig-all, and you'll see a bunch of IP addresses. However, we need to connect through Ethernet. So on your Ethernet IP address is 169.254.14, so these are the two ways in checking your IP addresses. As you can see, it's the same here. And I just punched that IP address here. So Now, after you punch in the correct IP address, your controller will magically appear on your Tools Talk 2. And for the last Sierra in connecting to Tools Talk 2, for a revision of 2.13 and above, we can connect through factory port, which you want to set a static IP address for your controller and for your notebook. Let's go take a look. So first for your controller, you can either access by using the service port through the web GUI, or you can also click in front of the screen directly. On the controller homepage, go to settings. Then on Ethernet ports, we're going to click Edit to change the factory Ethernet port. And I'm going to set this controller as 10.4605, subnet mask, 255.255.255.0. And on my computer, we are going to be on the same IP address range. On your taskbar, look for the Wi-Fi icon. Click on the Wi-Fi and look for the Ethernet icon. Now, go to Change Adapter Options. In your Adapter Options, look for the Ethernet that is connected, which obviously it's this one. Double click, Properties. Now we're going to set up the IPv4 setting, which is this one, IPv4, double click. Now you're going to punch in an IP address for your computer to be in the same range as your controller, which is 10 for 6, 0, 
it can't be 5 because it's going to clash with the controller. So I'm going to set up as 10. Subnet mass is going to be 255, 255, 0. Hit OK. OK. Now, make sure your computer is plugged in to the controller factory port. Now, since my controller is plugged in the controller factory port, I should be able to open the web GUI with this IP address. So let's test this right away. It's working. So my computer and my controller is in the same range. Now, to set up Tools Talk 2, go to Settings, Server Connections, make sure your controller is pointing at your computer, which in this case we set up 104610. So I'm just going to hit off Apply on Apply because the setting was already here. Let's check on Tools Talk 2 if your controller is going to magically appear. Controller came back from being offline. So there it is. So those are three ways in connecting Tools Talk 2 with your controller. If your controller still doesn't show up in the software, that means there might be other security blocking the connection, such as your firewall. So you might want to contact your IT department. If you have any other questions, please contact your LS Kafka representative. And thanks for watching.